Rabbi are. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. I've spoken about it so much, but I want to tell you, I saw the interview and it touched me so much. He said, I am the most fortunate person in the entire world. And then he said, and I am also the richest, wealthiest person in the entire world. He said, because there is not one thing in this world that I want that I don't have. Po akol close control in a chavruto in a svarim yashen kam ve lomed akol karo. Ani ben adam lo rak hamukshar ba'olam ela ha'ashir biyoter ba'olam ki en davar ba'olam sheni rotsi shein li. I can cry. I'm so far from that. You can you can be you can be Elon Musk. He's not rich. He has so much that he wants, and he's so so much lacking and so much. He said, "Anything I want, I have." How do you achieve that? By by getting stuff? No, by not needing stuff. And then they showed you his apartment. He had a mansion. He gave up such a wealthy lifestyle, and he could have he could have had a beautiful house now. Also, he didn't want it. He said, "Everything's within reach." Look, here's my dining room table. He said, "This is where we learn." And this is where I eat. Right behind him is my couch. Right here is his farm shank. And like 10 feet away is his kitchen. And they showed the leg of his table was, was being held up by two phone books. Anybody remember what a phone book is? So I just thought of even more of a chiddush. I don't think they made phone books in the last 10 or 15 years. That means that that's the way his leg was for 10 years. He wanted it that way because he didn't care because it's good. How is it better if it's being held up by a nicer leg? He, he became disconnected from being a cow. He became disconnected from chaymer, from materialism. Now, I'm not giving up this shirt today, but it's something to strive for, to not need, right? I'm not giving up my car. I'm not giving up. Uh, we're not going to start. We're not going to be him today, but you know what? He did it at 40 years old or 40, I forgot, I think it was 40. Like Rebbe Kiva. Until then he was Mugushim. He, his whole life was Gashmi's. He had no Ruchni's. And he became that. So it's never too late to start your journey. And the journey is not for Hashem, it's for us. To live a life that we feel connected to Hashem and a life that we could say, I am the richest person in the world. I am the wealthiest person in the world. Think about it, billionaires are not as wealthy because there are things that they want that they don't have. Whether it's relationships, whether it's whatever. He said, I have everything, everything I want. Oh, yeah, I wish that on me. <laughs> I wish that on you. But that's the bracha we should give our children. I bless you that you should have everything that you want. There's only one way to get that. By only wanting connection to Hashem. Only wanting sitting and learning. Once you want materialism, Mishiyash Leimana writes a Messiah, it's in the Bria. You want 100, then you're going to just want 200. Once you get to 200, you're going to want 400. Once you're going to want 400, you will always feel lacking. You will never say, I have everything I want. And we say, no, it's not true. Give me $100 million, I'll have everything I want. No, it's not true. It's not true. Batakumanusa. Look at the celebrities. The guy, they have everything they want. Every taiva, any boy, any girl, they have fame, they have glory, everything. Look at them, do research at the end of their lives, how they die miserably. Some of them die of drugs. Some of them die, die lonely, empty. Some commit suicide. Celebrities, what do you mean? I wish I was a celebrity. I wish. Why do you wish? So over here also, all the brachas that we want are for a purpose. I just thought of another Nesiv Shalom. So beautiful. Wow. On Rosh Hashanah, and Mamash fits in with what he's saying here. The Zaira Kaddish says, when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, we should not be like dogs that bark, give me, give me, have, have. It says in the Siva Shal, what's the difference between us and a dog? We shouldn't be like the dogs who say, give me, give me, give me a bone, give me a bone. We shouldn't bark. Well, what do you mean? But we need money. But we need food. But we need health. I shouldn't tell. I shouldn't say, Hashem, give me, give me. He says, of course we say, give me, give me, but not like a dog. Because the result, the end goal of the dog is the bone. We shouldn't, when it says, don't bark like a dog and say, give me, give me. 
So Pasha Pshat is, don't say give me, give me. He says, no, say give me, give me, but not like a dog. Don't bark like a dog and say give me, give me. Do it like a human being and say give me, give me. Say, Hashem, I need so I can get close to you. I need money. I need health. It's very hard. If I don't have money, if I have worries, I'm not going to be able to sit and learn. Ask for it, but that's not the goal. The goal is not the thing. The goal is shifti bevei Hashem kol yimei Another Nesiv V'Shalom, I just thought it was so beautiful. In the same place, he says it. David HaMelech says, Achas sha'alti me'es Hashem. One thing I have to ask, one request. Oisa avakesh, this is my request. Shifti bevei Hashem kol yimei I should sit in the house of Hashem kol yimei all the days of my life. Lachazois benayam Hashem to sit and enjoy the pleasure of, of Hashem in my life. It says in the Siva Shalom, really? He doesn't say it's so cute, but I'll say it cute. Really? Did you ever open up a Tehillim? Because if you open up a Tehillim, you'll see every day David HaMelech was asking for something else. Save me, help me, feed me. Constantly in trouble. He went through so much tsaras. It says one of the reasons why David Melech went through all the tsaras because he was because every Jew in any tsara you could find you could relate because he went through it all. He had a son who tried to kill him. He had a son off the derech. He had wives and this. He had he, people. Everything. Acha shalti. I have one request. What do you mean one request? <laughs> You have 10,000 requests, Stavon HaMelech. You request that Avshalom should come and do tshuva. You request that, that, the, that your enemies shouldn't kill you. You request that you should be safe. He had to make believe like he was a crazy person to get away. He had to, he, had to, he hid in, in, in a cave. He, so, he needed so much. Give me Munuch HaSanefesh. Give me, give me uh, uh, take away my enemies. Make people realize that I am the Im Yisrael, that I am in the Im Zmir Yisrael, that I am the King David HaMelech forever. At the time, People didn't accept him. He had enemies. I'm not the only guy that has enemies. David HaMelech had enemies. They wanted to kill him. And in those days, when you had enemies, they didn't just smear your name or say Lashon Har about you. Off with your head. Achas sha'alti me'is Hashem? What are you talking about? He's constantly asking from Hashem. He says in the Ziv Shalom, David HaMelech had a lot of problems. But his, his goal wasn't to save me from this problem. His goal was, I really have one Acha Sha'alti. I really have one request in my life that I want. Oisa Avake, she's the only thing I want is Shifti Bevei Hashem. Therefore, please save me. Please tell these people to stop trying to kill me so I can be Shifti Bevei Hashem. Please give me money so I, I don't, so I don't have to work so hard so I can be Shifti Bevei Hashem. I have one goal. And therefore, I'm asking for all these things. Somebody's chasing me so I can't learn. So I, I'm asking you to save me, but it's not about that. All the things that we ask for, the goal is shifti bevei Hashem kali mechaye. And anything that's going to take away from the shifti bevei Hashem kali mechaye, as the Nesiva Shalom says, what does it mean? I should sit in shul the whole day? It says, wherever you are, it should be based Hashem. You could be working, but you're connected to Hashem. You could be in your car, but you're listening to Tyra, or your thoughts. Two people driving up in a car somewhere. One guy's listening to Gaishi music. What's so wrong? Well, when I'm talking about the Avera, the other guy's listening to a shir. Well, let's say it's quiet. Two people waiting in a, in a, in a doctor's office. And, and both are going like this. One is thinking about mundane matters, and the other one's thinking about Hashem. He is shifty, beveis Hashem. Wherever his shifty is, wherever his zitzing is, is based Hashem. And that's how it could be, kol And that's how you could be, lachsis benayim Hashem. Ulevakir be'echolei. All of this is, is, is what we need to understand, that my goal is not the car. If the goal is the Gashmias, you're asking like a dog who's barking, I want Gashmias. But I'm a human, so my Gashmias is not a bone. It's a fill in the blank. You're a dog. Ask Hashem for your physical needs. Ask Hashem for what you need. For health, wealth, power, everything, 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 everything. But not like a dog, like a human, like a yid. Say, Hashem, I have one request. Shifti bevei Hashem kali mechaya. That's all I really want. I want to be close to you. Please give me everything that I need to be close to you. And I know that, of course, you can give me hardships. And, and 
and then I probably will be more close to you. But please give me the good stuff. Achtayva chesed yir defuni. All my redifas should be from Taiva and chesed. And I'll work harder. But I only want to be close to you. Because that's why I was created. That's why I was put down here on earth. And when you give somebody a blessing in Ruchnius to achieve his goal, not to waste his life. And again, sin is, is more extreme. But you could be not sinning and still waste your life. And even if it's not wasting your whole life, you can waste particles of your life. Every minute is a, is a minute in your life that you will never have back. And that minute could be spent davuk by Hashem, connecting by Hashem b'machshava or b'maisa, learning, or just thinking, connecting to Hashem. Or it could be not. 